of absolutely admirable childhood through a very famous poem or song called Krishna in Begane Bal of Yashoda, the mother who by divine blessings ended up having the privilege of taking care of probably one of the cutest children ever written in the comedy, God Krishna. Extremely mischievous as we all know. He stole butter, not only from his own mother, but also from the neighbors' houses. He got into a lot of trouble. This particular piece, Krishnani Begani Baro, I will be portraying the plight and the joy of being the mother of I'll be a little naughty, but admirable child, Krishna. She starts the piece by describing Krishna as if he were the Lord, saying, such fragrant kasturi he has on his forehead, that beautiful forehead with eyebrows like the rainbows. On his chest, he wears Kaustava gem <clears throat> on his body. He has the fragrant chandana smear, sandal paste. In his hands, he holds the flute and plays that melts all our hearts. And on those beautiful hands, he wears gold bracelets. She talks about how he is, as a child, always wearing pearls, necklaces. On his neck, he wears the pearl necklaces. Such a Krishna, suddenly she transforms and realizes she's the mother, right? Although we all admire our children to all mothers in the audience, there are moments of reality when they get into trouble and she goes looking, where is my cute child? She searches for Krishna and she notices where he is, playing in the crowd. And she says, come, play with me. Come sit with my mother for some time, Krishna. Won't you just please come fast? And then she says, if you come, I will give you freshly churned butter. He, of course, comes pretending to eat from the mother's hands, takes the bowl away and runs. Then she asks, won't you sit down on your cute tiny little feet? Let me put anklets and the blue color that you are. I want to see you dance with those anklets on. After all of this, of course, he doesn't come. And then she suddenly remembers an incident when she left the house with freshly churned butter tied all the way up, knowing that the child will never be able to reach it. She went out. But Krishna, of course, came, figured out nobody was home, he couldn't reach the butter, so he called all his friends and said, come, 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 why don't you, my friend, lay down and I will use you as a ladder, climb up and get the pot of butter, he brings it open, relishes it, shares with all of his friends. When he thinks somebody is coming, he throws the butter bowl, breaks. And he runs away and hides. Yashoda comes looking. She notices that house door is wide open. And the butter, which she thought she had hung very high up, a child could not reach. It's fallen on the ground and broken. She knows immediately it must be Krishna. She goes in search of him, ready to reprimand him. He, of course, runs away. But what does he do? He's still hungry. While he's hiding and playing with the sand, making a sand castle, he realizes, if nobody is watching, why don't I just eat this? Puts it in his mouth. Horrible timing, the mom spots it. There she is, very, very upset. The only thing she doesn't realize is that, although all of the mischiefs until then has been by a child, at this moment, Lord Krishna, in the mother's request, says, no, I did not steal, no, I did not eat the sand. But when she asks him to open it, he opens his 
mouth in the entire universe is what Nani Yashoda sees in it. And there is a moment when she realizes, oh my God, my child is more than just, just a, not a child. This is what I will be portraying next. Krishna, me begaling baru, apadam. Enjoy.